The brain is the most complex organ in the body. It controls all vital functions from memory to laughter, emotions to heartbeats, and perception to movement. Research over the last decades has unveiled some of the secrets of this amazing organ. The brain is composed of over 85 billion neurons of different types that form more than 100 trillion connections called synapses. Synapses are a combination of electrical and chemical signals between the neurons that transmit information and are essential for every process in the body. Sometimes these connections are altered due to a progressive loss of structure, function or even the death of neurons, leading to the development of neurodegenerative diseases. Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease and epilepsy are some examples. They affect their patients emotionally and socially and also their families and friends. The existing treatments focus mainly on alleviating the symptoms. Currently, there is no cure for these diseases. Fortunately, the European Commission is funding research projects on the development of therapies aiming to cure these neurodegenerative diseases. Our project, Training for CRM, is one of them. We are 15 young researchers for 11 different countries worldwide, working across Europe. With our experience in cutting-edge techniques in interdisciplinary fields such as microengineering, biotechnology and preclinical studies, we are developing a device that could one day cure neurodegenerative diseases. We use the latest advances in biotechnology to grow neurons in the lab and genetically engineer them to react to light stimuli. Combining this with electronics and nanotechnology, we have the opportunity to create a wireless medical device that can be controlled, for instance, by a smartphone. The electronic device has an electronic system and optical fiber coated with healthy lab-grown neurons. Light from the optical fiber stimulates these neurons and makes them release the needed neurotransmitter to the surrounding brain tissue. This will replace the functions of the diseased neurons. For instance, the loss of the neurotransmitter dopamine in the brain causes the typical tremors in Parkinson's patients. This loss of dopamine will activate the device and give patients or doctors the opportunity to remotely treat the disease. This would be impossible without the joint effort of all the members of the team. Meet Sharshank, Afia and Mosde. Sharshank works on the design and fabrication of the optical fiber and Afia creates an electrically conductive scaffold that surrounds it. Meanwhile, Mosde is developing drug delivery systems that are triggered by light. Here we have Anna, Christina and Aliska. They are producing the tools to engineer neurons, making them respond to light and release the desired neurotransmitters, as well as other brain-protecting factors. We also count with Salman and Kristin. Salman studies the electrical signaling of the device to control the necessary amount of neurotransmitter released from the neurons. Kristin applies bioimpedance measurements to analyze the state of the neurons. And Teresa, Hakan and Robin. Teresa engineers small brain organoids to create a human brain model. To resemble closely the environment inside the human brain, Robin and Hakan develop new biomaterials and 3D printing technology, enabling optimal culture conditions for these small brains. Our electronic expert is Ali Reza. He develops the wireless system for the light simulation and recording of the neural activity. Finally, we have Camille and Sandrina. They complement our work by characterizing the genetically modified cells and studying their therapeutic potential in animal models. If you want to follow our work, go to www.trainingforcrm.com Cell-based regenerative medicine for neurodegenerative diseases.